You know, one of the most disturbing things that we have seen happen this week uh, as a result of Donald Trump's uh, racist and xenophobic comments over the past, well, at this point, last few days, because it wasn't just the tweets on Sunday. He has doubled down on it, doubled down on a press conference, tripled down on it in subsequent tweets ever since the original one. He loves to say these horrible things. Go back to your country. You hate America. You love the bad guys. And there's a reason Donald Trump keeps saying these things. And no, it's not because he wants Democrats to have to defend the squad. It's because he knows that his base is eating it up. And he knows that his base is eating it up because his base is actually out there telling reporters, we love this stuff. This is why we voted for him. In fact, Ed O'Keefe at CBS News recently, earlier this week, went out and talked to a bunch of Trump supporters to ask them how they felt about Donald Trump's comments. And here's what a few of them had to say. This is Mary Lou Kohlhofer, a retired businesswoman who said, I know some people don't like his tweets and, and they think he's crass. I, that's why I voted for him. Doug Thomas said, it's unfortunate he had to do it the way he had to do it. It's really the only way we can get this country back. Nancy Schneider had this to say, if you think you have it better in your, where you came from or how they did things there, go back where you came from. My apologies, Nancy Schneider. I have no idea if that's how you actually talk. There was no video attached to this. This was just words. But I imagine if this is the kind of nonsense you're spewing out of your mouth, then you're probably saying it with a little bit of an accent or too. I reckon that, huh? Yeah, right? And you know what? I, I feel no qualms about mocking these people or making fun of these people or, or, or using the weird voices on them because these are pieces of human garbage. Let's be honest. I'm not gonna dance around this issue anymore. I'm not going to play nice. I'm not going to act like, well, I need to be a little more reserved and just say things in a respectful manner. Hell no. You see the crap these people are out there spewing. You see the man that they are defending and the comments that he have made that they, they, they say like, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, I love that. And you expect us to sit here with a little bit of decorum and rationally try. There's no rationality anymore, folks. It doesn't exist when you're talking to or about these MAGA hat wearing fools. And that is exactly what they are. These are fools. But more importantly, this is the kind of crap that we're up against in 2020. How do you change a voter's mind like that? The answer is you don't. The answer is you write them off. You write them off. And unfortunately, I don't think enough Democratic candidates are doing that. I think they think they can still reach these people. There are plenty of people in this country who support Donald Trump or who, who support the Republican party that you can reach. There are plenty. These people are not it. These are his base. These are the people who voted for Trump because he said he was going to kick the brown people out. And that's why they voted for him. And you're never going to get them on your side. It doesn't matter how to the much to the center you go and say, oh, let's have rational conversations with these racists. You don't change a racist mind through rational conversations because there's no rational thinking in that person. Life experiences help change people's minds. It's not something you can have in a conversation. There are plenty of people to have conversations with and help change their minds and show them a better way. But these people ain't it, folks. These people need real world, real life experiences to help change their views, if it's even possible. Maybe for once in your life, go outside the borders of the United States, see different cultures, maybe spend some time, make a new friend that doesn't have lily white skin. See things from their perspective. That's how you change these people's minds, if it's even possible. Most of them, I don't think it's possible. They were born and bred this way, and they're always going to be that way. But I'm done being nice. I'm done trying to act like we have to be nice to these people, or that we can't make fun of them, and we can't mock them, or somehow that makes me less professional. These are horrible human beings. And part of my job is to call out when somebody is a horrible human being and the defenses that they are offering for the president of the United States saying, this is why I voted for him. We have to take our country back. Yeah, 
that's just about as deplorable as you can get. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.